Now go to Romans chapter 8 to show you the true God buries your God because your God is not the true God. Open up your Bible. I, you have your Bible? Yeah, I do, but I, I don't. I don't believe in the Bible. Uh, well, your prophet did, so that means you're better than your prophet. So go um, to cha Romans uh, chapter 8. Okay, sure. And I'm going to show you how Jesus now buries your God and prophet as adulterers and murderers, the very Bible that you're afraid of. But go to Romans 8, read 14 uh, to 17. Romans, Romans was written by Paul, not Jesus. Okay, but and the Quran was written by Muhammad, not Jesus. And you still believe what Muhammad says about Jesus? Yes. I yes. Oh, wait, wait, say it again. So yes, I believe what Muhammad, who came 600 years later, tells me about Jesus in Arabic, a language Jesus didn't speak. But Paul, who met the eyewitnesses of Jesus, I don't trust him. You see how stupid you sound, James? But... Uh, there's the, the things in the in the Bible that you can't fully trust, like uh, like. What do you mean, like your prophet? Your prophet telling you you can marry a minor who has in puberty that you can trust. Your prophet marrying his adopted son's divorced wife that you can trust. Your prophet abolishing adoption that you can trust. Your prophet saying take married captive women and rape them that you can trust, but we can't trust Paul. You make sense, man. I'm ready to go to the mosque, take shahada. Go to Romans eight, read verses fourteen to seventeen. Okay, so for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Uh, the Spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you receive brought about your adoption. What, what did it do? It brought about what? Adopt, but this is talking okay, about no, this, no, no, like no, the Calm down. Sense. Don't get, be afraid. I know the Bible scares you because the demons that are controlling you, but may Jesus set you free. So the God that spoke to Paul loves adopting children your god hates adoption and abolished it so is allah your father is allah, no, allah your father is not, allah is not uh, god is not a father but this but this jesus says about... god is the father wait wait jesus said god is the father so are you sure your jesus. allah is the god revealed in jesus jesus never said that in the quran and uh, that's jesus. why we don't believe your quran it's trash because it lies about what jesus said okay but um this passage right here yes. uh from from Paul, it's talking about um, adoption in a in a spiritual sense, you know. Yes, but there is no adoption spiritually or legally in Islam. You can't be adopted as a son of Allah, and you can't adopt a child legally. So your Quran destroys adoption spiritually and legally. What don't you get? So I want you to say in front of everyone, Allah is my father, and He adopted me as a son, and Muhammad is a son of Allah spiritually. Say that. I want to record you. No, I can't say that. Okay, now you just said that Muhammad is of the devil because he's not from the same God that Jesus proclaimed. Let's put Paul aside. I that. No, I'm saying that's what you're saying without you realizing it. Now go to Matthew 6. Let me show you what the true Jesus said about God. Go to Matthew 6. Read verse 6 all the way to 8. I don't, I don't believe in the authenticity of Matthew. But your fake prophet did. Are you saying you're better than Muhammad? If I show you from your Quran that your prophet said, believe the Bible that I have, are you going to spit on him with me? Because I'm going to show you that right now in the Quran. No, okay. May I explain? Um, no, I, don't, I, I don't need your explanation. You just became a Muslim two months. You're not qualified. Do you want me to show you in your Quran where your fake prophet said, my Bible is true and I'm to use it to judge him? It does say that you, uh, you have to judge by the Torah and the gospel, but that was at the time of the prophet. And okay, the what prophet? What, what, what prophet? The, the prophet Muhammad. And okay, now, time, now you see now you're a liar or you're ignorant because you have copies of the Torah that were written before Jesus, after Jesus, during the time you're prophet, and it's the same we have today. So when did it change? Um, I, I believe it's changed after the, the prophet Muhammad. That's okay, good. I'm, oh, good, Quran good. Oh, wait, 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 good, good. Because now I'm going to give you an English translation of the copy of the Old Testament from copies of the Bible that were written 200 years before Jesus. So good. Now let me show you that. Now you're stuck. Here it is. There you go. Okay, I want you to see this right here. The Dead Sea Scrolls Bible. The oldest known Bible translated for the first time into English. This is the Torah from the most ancient copies of the Old Testament, written in Hebrew, found in 1947, written about 20 years before Jesus, translated in English, and it's identical to what I read in my Bible today, and this is before Muhammad. So you said after Muhammad, now I got copies before Muhammad. You're stuck. Okay, so um, with the whole um, Bible uh, from the time of Jesus or before him, uh, peace be upon him. Um, we're, we're not sure. I mean, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, Go to how, chapter 3, like, verse 50. You better be sure. Go to chapter 3, verse 50, because your Quran says Jesus confirmed what I'm holding right now. Go to chapter 3, verse 50 yeah. of the Quran. And I will confirm the Torah revealed before me and legalize some of what had been forbidden to you. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, so be mindful of God and obey me. He's going to do what? What did uh, your Quran say Jesus supposedly did? Jesus confirms the Torah given to Moses. Okay, now I'll give you $10 million. Show me where it says the Torah is given to Moses in your Quran. 
Um, Allah says that a book was given to Moses and we know the book No, no, to you're Moses not listening. No, 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 you don't know. You don't know what the book is because the Quran doesn't tell you. Don't play that game with me. Don't steal from my Bible to defend your position because you just rejected my Bible. Show me in your Quran where it says the Torah was given to Moses. Don't play that game with me, son. Um, I, I, can't, think of, I can't think of a verse on top of my head. Because but... there isn't. So what I'm not going to let you do is steal from my Bible which tells you the Torah is given to Moses because you just said you don't believe it because that means you're a hypocrite like your prophet to go to my Bible to tell me that the Torah is given to Moses. But then when I use my Bible, I don't believe it. You don't play that game. Either you accept it or you reject it. So I want you to show me in your Quran where it says the Torah was given to Moses. Right now, show it to me. You don't need to waste your time. It's not there. But what I want you to look at is what did Jesus do? Jesus confirmed the Torah. Okay. Did it say that he exposed corruption to the Torah or he confirmed it? No, he confirmed the Torah. Okay. Now, go to chapter 5, verse 46. Th then in the footsteps of the prophets, we sent Jesus, son of Mary, confirming the Torah revealed before him. And we gave him the gospel, containing guidance and light and confirming what was revealed in the Torah, a guide and a lesson to the God-fearing. So let the people of the gospel judge by what God has Now you went to 47. Him. Well, read 47. Go ahead, read it. It's okay. I wanted you to read just 46, okay. but read 47 since you read it. So let the people of the gospel judge by what God has revealed in it. And those who do not judge by what God has revealed are truly the rebellious. Okay, now go to 61 verse 6 of your Quran. And I'm not even going to quote Ibn Kathir. We don't need Ibn Kathir to confirm what I'm saying. Just you're reading in front of your eyes with this Khatib guy. Read 61 verse 6. Sure. And remember when Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel... I am truly God's messenger to you, confirming the Torah which came before me, and giving good news of a messenger after me whose name will be Ahmed. Yet when the prophet came to them with clear proofs, they said, this is pure magic. Okay, now, I just gave you three verses which you read. Jesus confirmed the Torah that was there in his possession. Not a single word about Jesus saying it's corrupted. Now, I just showed you. Look at the title again. The Dead Sea Scrolls Bible, the oldest known Bible translated for the first time into English. Archae archaeological proof tells us what the Torah was because we found manuscripts in Hebrew of the Torah, the Old Testament, written before Jesus. That means if you believe in your Quran, the only Torah Jesus had historically, this is a fact, is what I have today, and it's right here. So if you believe in your Quran, you better stop telling me I reject your Bible because that means you don't believe in your Quran.